Hi, Ted Padova here bringing you another video tutorial on using Adobe Acrobat and creating PDF forms. I have a document here that has multiple spawned pages. And this video is related to summing data across all spawned pages. For example, I have a total field down here. And if you take a look at each one of the pages that I have in this document, you can see that I have a total resulting in a computation of fields in a particular column there. So I want to sum all of those and put the result of that into a summary page or a summary document. Now, this document has a lot going on with it. There's a lot of different things that are happening here, and I'm going to go through and explain some of those before we actually get to the script that I need to add to my file here to calculate the sum of all of the pages in the document that have a total value like that. Over on the far left, you can see I have a button here that says reset this page. Now this is not reset the entire form. This button is designed to clear out data on the page that's in view. In the event that someone starts a page, they want to clear the data and start over again. So if I click on this button, you can see that I cleared the data here but the data remains intact on the second page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert back to my saved file here. Click on revert so that we can get back to the original. And let's take a look at the script that handles this action. It's really just a simple two-line script you see here and this is the JavaScript that will do that I'm basically saying that I'm going to get this page number and then I'm just going to clear the fields on this particular page and this is how that script is written you can easily copy and paste this into any document where you use spawn pages and if you don't use spawn pages you would have to supply a name here of a root parent name uh, so if you had something like client.name, client.address, etc., etc., then you would want to go this reset form and then in parentheses client. Uh, that would clear out data on a given page. Next, I have over here the spawn page button. Let's take a look at that. And here is the script that's going to spawn the page. Now, you've seen in other videos, if you've taken a look at some of the videos that I have on spawning pages from template, you pretty much know the parameters that I have for, selected for this area of the script. The thing I want to draw your attention to is the very top line. It says that this page number equal this num page is minus 2. JavaScript is zero base, so minus one would get you to the last page in the document. Now that pa page happens to be my summary page. So if I spawn new pages, I want them to appear prior to the last page, which is the summary page. And the dot dash two or this minus two here will, first of all, zero is going to get it to this page and minus two is going to get it prior to the summary page. And that's where the target page is going to wind up. And then let's take a look at the calculations that I have here. Now this is something that's rather interesting. In, in a document where you have spawn pages, every time you create a new page, all the field names change. So if I want to create a calculation, and in this case, in this table, I have quantity over here. And the name of that field is qty.0.1.2, etc., etc. But when I spawn a page from a template, you see I get a different name up here. And it is preceded by a p. And then it's 0 for the number of the page. And then it's got the template name. And in this case, my page template is called C template. Then it's got dot .quantity and then dot .0 for the first field. Then the next field is dot one, etc., etc., and I have the same thing going on over here in the each column. Now my end result is I want to take quantity, the first row here, and I want to mu multiply it times the price of each item, and then put that in the total over here. Well, the problem is 
that when I calculate this total, let's bring up the calculate tab over here, I can't really use the value as the sum of because each one of the fields are going to change and I need to compensate for the field name changes. I can't use simplified field notation because these all have parent-child names and even if they didn't, uh, the name changes would take effect and they would be different. And I can't really write a JavaScript in here that would take this value times this value and multiply it and have the result here because then the next page, it would be a different field name for both of those items. So what I need to do is to compensate or handle the name change. And I do that, in this particular case, I'm doing it with a function and that function is at the document level. So let's take a look at my functions and we'll go to JavaScript over here and to document JavaScripts where I keep my functions and this is amount calc so each one of these are going to call the function amount calc let's take a look at what amount calc does go to edit now the one thing to keep in mind, and something to make it easy for the non-programmers in the group here, is all of this first portion of this script, this code here, you can copy and paste just as it is. You don't have to worry about changing a single value or field name. In the next series of lines here, I begin with variable a quantity that's just a variable name you can choose any name you want won't affect the script at all and variable a each as well but those variables need to be related to whatever fields you're going to be used in the calculation and then i come in and i get the field that is c page now c page handles the p0 p1 p2 etc etc and then I call out the template, which once again, the template that I have, that I'm, the name of the template is called C template. And then dot QTY is the quantity. Now that's the field name over here. And then the C postfix item handles the child value. So that would be quantity dot zero, quantity dot two, quantity dot three, et cetera, et cetera. In the next line of code, I'm getting my each column over here, this column. And I'm saying that the value as uh, for each is I'm getting the, uh, the C page. Once again, that's the P0, P1, P2. I'm getting the template name. I'm getting each. Each one of these is called each.0, each.1, each.2, etc. And then the postfix is the child name, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., etc. And basically, I'm just going to multiply one value times another. Now, the thing that's nice about this is as I spawn new pages, it's going to work on all the pages because it's breaking apart the field and then it's going to give unique values to the p value and to the postfix values okay you can copy and paste that script very easily if you're working with spawned pages in a pdf document the last item over here is a calculation so i want to once again we'll close this i want to go to my prepare form so i can see my fields and bring up this field and you can see that I'm using a function here called do subtotal. Okay, so subtotal, once again at the document level, I'm going to my functions. And here's subtotal. And in this case, I really don't have a child name, so there's no postfix here. I don't have I don't really have a need for using postfix. Once again, you can copy all the front all the beginning lines of code here, and then this is where I'm coming down into this uh, unique set of code for this particular document. I'm just running a loop. I'm getting the field name, which is total. And I'm once again, I'm C page handles the P0, P1, P2, etc. The template name, the total value, and notice that I don't use postfix here because there's no parent-child relationship. So that's just the name of this field. And it sets up an array and I loop through the array and I put the end result in the field where that script is executed, which is 
and it says event value be directly in this field. So it's done here. And then these all, every single one of these fields have that other function that's here. Now you don't have to worry too much if you're not a JavaScript programmer because there's very little to copy and paste here. You don't have to worry too much about most of the code. You just need to put in values for your own field names and if you if you really need to start you can use the same field names I have and the script will run fine. Just make sure that those field names are named appropriately in the PDF document. So now that we've discovered some of the actions that occur in the PDF document. Let's take a look at the scripts now that's going to sum this total here. And I have two scripts. This one is going to sum the data and put it in the last page. And this script is going to open a totally new PDF document and put the value in the new open document. So first let me execute this and we'll see what happens. I'll click on summary in this document and here's the value over here okay I'll clear that data and then I'll go back to let's go back to page one here and let's take a look at what this script is doing and basically what I have is I'm getting a field called grand total that name is in this summary page over here that's where I'm going that's the target field where I'm going to put my end result and then I have a loop here and I'm running through the loop and I have this sum add value and all it's doing is incrementing as I go through each page it's adding the data basically to that value of sum add so it's like a running total and then I go to the end of the document to take a look at the summary page okay and you saw me execute that script so you can see it's relatively easy you can easily copy and paste that script all you have to worry about is changing the field name for you know, in my case it's called subtotal you would change it to whatever your field name is and and apply the script likewise now the second button here let me execute that and show you what goes on I'm going to click on this. Notice that I have one document open. Let's get PO spawns uh, spawned over here. I'm going to click on summary new document and a new document opens. You can see that up here and the value is placed in this document. Uh, go ahead and I'm going to reset this. I really don't need to but because uh, I can close it without saving. Uh, I want to show that I'm adding another field over I'm adding another value over here I'm going to have uh, in addition to the data that I have calculated already for two pages now this is a third page and I'll put in a value here let's say this is a 695 printer okay let me type in 695 and then the total is down here now notice that my value was 4,000 and something and the last time I calculated when I click again you can see it's incremented so it's a running total it will happen each time you spawn a page and add more values it's going to give you the total sum of all the all the values now I have both of these files that are added to the description below this video and I would suggest that you put both this document and the summary page document in the same folder so that Acrobat can easily find the path so it can open one document from this button action down here where we click on new document. And that's pretty much it. You can easily copy and paste these. You can play around with it, try to figure out what's going on change the field names and see if you can use some of these scripts in files that you create particularly in files where you spawn pages from templates and you want to have a running total so once again this is ted padova wishing you all the very best in all your acrobat activities until next time